Hallo, mijn naam is Marianne. Ik kwam Theo tegen in de gang. <laughs> het is een hele leuke verrassing. Maar ik wil heel graag mijn kapsel opgeknipt, opgeknapt. Ja. Misschien wel geknipt, maar in ieder geval... Uh... Ja, we gaan het sowieso een beetje knippen. Ja. Marianne had een refresh of haar hairstyle. Ik kwam uh, each other uh, we up. Maar ja, we gaan anders doen. Uh, we met each other on the, the hallway and I asked the model for me, so that's why she's here. But she's normally also a customer of mine. Yeah. Een rondje draaien. Yeah. She turns around to show you her current hairstyle. And that I'm gonna refresh. <laughs> Hello friends on YouTube. Got me Marianne to model for me. <laughs> Now we met each other on the hallway, so I ask her, will you model for me? And that's why she's here. She don't want to have a lot of hair off, she wants a refresh of the hairstyle because it's not that long ago that I made this hairstyle for her. Yeah. But it's also uh, the color, so I'm gonna refresh the color in this line but make it more spunky, more fun and more global, more and more depth into the color. And that I do with a vegan line. Start as always with wetting the hair. Now she has nice soft curly hair. So when I make her a color, I will certainly use a conditioner into it to stimulate the curly effect of the hairs. Apply a leave-in conditioner. Lay the hairs that I think they should lay in the natural shapes. Start as always on the part where it falls open, because that's the best way to start. Lift it up and hold my fingers in the angle. So I hold some length to the right side of hers. And like the clock, you hear ticking. I turn around the first line I cut. I mostly tell people it's a hair dancer's dance. first part that's laying down is of course always the part where the natural parting is. So there you need less length to get the jumpy again. Connecting the lines to each other. And do this the same way as I did the first line. See, the travel around her skull. Till I get to the center line. Yeah, really? <laughs> She starts crying. Put it in the video, in the comments. She starts crying at five minutes. Something. This can be snel, Theo. Yeah. It's the nice thing when people see something like a tear or the water. Yeah. <laughs> You're crying. Yeah. Gratitude. First thing I'm going to do is the underlines, take the hairs up, watch at the fall, take the eyebrow as a guide, so take the bone of the eyebrow as a guide, holding some length on the ears and go in the natural roundings. So don't fight them. Take a new line on it, about a centimeter hair. Go to the baseline, go to the front. And let the curly effect lean in my fingers. Then come up the upper hairs. First connect them to the baseline. Then I give graduation because I want a curly effect. So I go in, then tick up the hairs and then twist. So they jump up. A 
It looks like not much, but it is much. It does its work. My ears are on gelijk, Theo, is she that? Yeah. Here's the day. Oh, good. Yeah. She told me her ears are not on the same level, but everybody has that. Nobody is perfect. Ah, just me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm bold. I'm old. So now I created that jumpy effect. Now I go over to the full. Of the see a slight angle into the line. And that I don't want. So I take this up in the point cut thing. Now you see this is a bit asymmetrical line. This part is done. Now I come to the shorter hair. It sucks. Now I come to the shorter side. She likes to have a bit stronger line. So I can set out the stronger line first. Go in half on the ears. I need some hair to get that jumpy effect. Create a strong line. Place the new hair on it. And then part the hair to the back. Take the hairs up like I told you. Twist them around. Give them the effect like I did on the other side. So twist them and lay them over. So I bend them in a curly effect. And the more I go to the back, the straighter my lines will be. Using a small point cut technique. Lay the hairs on the skin. Het is altijd leuk als je nou hoort wat je allemaal doet, hè? want normaal denk je daar even niet over na. Ik vind het een mooi vak, prachtig. Is ook een mooi vak. Ja. On the fall of the skull, I use a slicing point cut techniek. Go and pipe behind the ears. And get that jumpy effect. So the graduation is always to the up lines. So you get that wavy effect. Where you think it needs a little bit more, you give it a little bit more. Trust your gut feelings and go into the flow. That's what I do today too, right? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the way we met today. It's also going in the flow. Yeah. Just go with it. She never noticed today when she wake up that she would be on YouTube this week. <laughs> Getting world famous. <laughs> Come to the back. Now, watch at the lines of the skull. It's the most important thing. So, mostly I take a comb. So, to notice where the lines of the skull are. So, the skull bone in the fall of the neckline is laid here. So, when I know that, I can work on that. So I take the hairs up, twist them around. I know this is curly hair, so I want to twist with the hairs. Take one to the left, one to the right. 
and create a jumpy effect. Go in the line above that. Go in the opposite way. Every time twist around. Holding length. Coming in on the lines. Lifting the hairs up. Don't want to lose a lot of length. And every time twisting, just go with the flow. Now I need some length in the neckline because the, the implant there is very fine. So I, I need some hair to cover the lines. On the lines, you have the hairs you don't need. Those I take off always. The next time she's back with me, I take them off again. Holding the neckline nice, friendly, softly, and feminine. Adjusting the length a bit. But holding the softness. Now you see that I make use of the rounding of the skull and give it a lot of volume and also a bending. But what I can do now is with the new color, I can make this a bit deeper of color so you get even more effect into it. Yeah, that's okay. It's about all what I'm in here, but you must have a guitar or something, you know, cut it. Take a little bit of the weight, not too much. But you see, I slice from the other lines. And I use over a fine technique. And now I'm more in balance with the lines. The only thing I want to do now is to get back to the first line and use a small point slice technique into the ends. Not much, but just to give it that extra effect. Especially on the front because there's a thick part that's laying here. So take that up. And by making it a little bit lighter, you can get that curly effect. Now for so far the cut is done, so now I can make her a collar. Food lekker. Yeah. Okay, make her a collar in the kin line and make a photo of the colors into the video right now so you can see which colors I used. I took two parts uh, of the copper collar, that's 844, and I took one part of the 766, that's a reddish collar. And that should do the, do the job to get near to this color she already has. These colors are parabene free, ammonia free, they are vegan. So they don't smell, they don't damage the hairs. But also to protect even more than the color already does, is I put the step one of the glint line in it. And when she is in the sink and I rinse it out, 
I put step 2 in it. To create a little bit more asymmetrical effect, I'm also leaving the part to the sides out because I'm coming work in into the color, a dark color, a brown color. So I use the same color, the rest over of it, to make a deeper color. I really like the development of new products because it makes life as a hairdresser a lot nicer to do. And the more you work on conditioner, the best result customers have on the hairs, especially in summertime. It's very important to yeah, use conditioners into products. Con the product through the hairs. Make sure it's nicely spread. Then into the bowl, I take a 4 zero. and apply about uh, 8 centimeters of the floor, I'll show you that. You can watch into the bowl and you see the product laying and this I mix into the rest of the color. And this I only use in the underlines. Also on this side I have a little underline, so not too much, but just to give the baseline more power. So only in the underlines I applied the deeper color. And then I come this into the upper lines to create a soft overflow of the colors. Geluid hè, zo'n vak waar je achteruit gaat. Als je daar op gaat knippen, ga je te snel. Ja, dat zou ik niet doen. <laughs> Come to the other side, so you see that it's a little bit more. So you get a little bit asymmetrical effect just by the color. Apply the color. Then the colors on the hairs, I comb this into the upper hairs. Now this uh, needs to stay on the hairs for 25 minutes. You don't need heat because it's uh, warm in the studio. So we go for a coffee or tea. You will just stay there because we're certainly back to show you the end result and the styling. Take a little bit of carton wick on the front. This just for the plastic foil. Close my plastic foil. And then we are off. And you too. Good. Back. Nasty carton wick. That was me, That was my knee. Bye. Back from color. <laughs> now you see what we try to achieve is a transplant color. It's beautiful transplant color near to the color she has, but that's also important because it suits her skin tones very well. Now on styling, I'm using a Divine as a product of Glint. It's a curl product. Stimulates curly effect and nurses the hairs. Massages into the hairs. Come this through with the Olivia Garden Brush to spread the product all over the hairs. Now she has real nice natural curly hair. So I'm going to make use of that with a, a small brush to start in the underlines. 
just to, to polish the ends and to give it a bit more curly effect. Afterwards, I take the natural curls into the hairstyle by products. So far blow drying. The combination I'm going to use is uh, of Lanza, the golden oil, in combination with a spider of glit. The oil I use to reduce the spider effect of the spider product. But for the curly effect I like to have a spider product. So I take a little bit of oil, I take a little bit of the spider product. Mix them through together so I get an ultra smooth product. Can really play with this product the way I like it. And the healing oil of Lanza heals the color and heals the hair, so it's always wonderful to use this product. But brings also the shine into the hairs. and the flamey effects of course. And you see how nicely transparent the color is. And the wonderful thing also of this product is she can play with her hairs when she likes to. So now she has to stay away of course with the hands because I have to make photos of it for you. Yeah. But this a new color, a new hairstyle. I thank you for being my model. I thank you for watching. She will turn around to show you the end result and we see each other next video. <laughs> bye bye. Draaien? Ja, je moet een rondje draaien. Oh, mooi kleur. Ik zie Mooi hè? Ja. Dank je. Draaien? She turns around to show you her current hairstyle. And that I'm gonna refresh. <laughs>